back at it again, and we have a very, very interesting one here that um, you're not going to want to miss. Let's dive in. We are here in Jupiter, Florida at the Trump boat parade where there are the first ever protesters I've seen at a Trump boat parade. Uh, you'll find that they support defunding the police but are standing near the police for protection, asking them to keep me away from them because I have a lot of questions to ask. Hi guys, we're documenting uh, what's going on with the Trump boat parade and some people said that you were protesters. Would you? Okay. Would you guys label yourselves as protesters? Would you guys label yourself as protesters like they're calling you? We're not talking to you. Why not? Because we don't want to. Okay, is it fun being Are you a Democrat? I'm not talking to you. I, I assume that you're a Democrat. I'm not talking to you. What is the definition of racism? Why do you think these people are I'm not talking to you. Why not? You have nothing to back up what you're saying? I do not want to talk to you. Okay? Why would you call people Amazing. I know, I know you do. I know you follow me. Thank you for the following. I do not follow you. Trust me. Trump, Black Lives Matter. It's amazing I mean, that you have specifically. If you know who she is, then you had to have at least checked out her content, which thus gets her paid. So, I mean, yeah, Caitlin's right. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, she's got a point. A race on your poster here, singling out a single race because you support them more, I guess, than the other ones. And then you say, is it fun being racist? Well, you hold up a terrorist organization. Uh, I'm going to ask you, is it fun being a racist? I'm not talking to you. You sit here and you chant and you have signs saying Black Lives Matter. It's a terrorist organization. Yeah, you sit there and you're going to ask other people why they're racist. Really? I really, I really am interested though, guys. If you guys know what you stand for, why can't you tell me what you stand for? Very simple. Very simple. If you think people are racist, you should be able to tell them why. Facts. You're going to call people racist. I think you should back that up. Yeah. So why is Trump if he has the lowest ever black unemployment rate? Because he kills them. I'm sorry? He kills them. He kills who? Black people. Yeah. Trump kills black he people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he allows police to kill black people. So Trump, Trump kills without, black people. Without consequence, yes. Where is there no consequences at? Breonna Taylor's uh, cops that killed her are not arrested. or. How is that Trump's fault? Because he can do something about it. How is that Trump's fault? Move along. Because Can you tell her to stop harassing us, please? No, no, no. Trump has nothing to do with that. Absolutely nothing. As a matter of fact, he should stay out of, you know, stuff like that. He, sh he shouldn't even be talking about stuff like that. Let those scenarios play out on their own. So they're saying that a president should try to influence the way that our judicial, our judicial system is handled? Is that what they're trying to say? The way... Uh, the way that our judges make decisions, the president should try to influence them. I'm, I'm just curious. I just find that a little uh, scary, you know, when you get to a place like that. Breonna Taylor's uh, cops that killed her are not arrested or- How is that Trump's fault? Because he can do something about it. How is that Trump's fault? Move along. Can because you tell her to stop harassing us, please? No, 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 no. You say defund the police. Don't you dare ask the police for help. Turn your poster around. Turn your poster around. The other side says defund blue terrorists and she's asking the police for help. <laughs> Mighty ironic, huh? The hypocrisy. The greatest hypocrisy. Ever. It is the thing that I have been saying in a lot of videos. One thing that I have noticed, the same people who want to defund the police will run to those same folks for help. How does that even make sense? You don't be personally, you know, looking at all of this and just sitting back and thinking about it. Right. The conclusion that I've come to is that these people don't even know what they're fighting for. They don't. They think that holding up these signs looks good so they do it you just saw the hypocrisy on the back of your sign that you were willing to hold up because you wrote that on there because you believed in it she's saying defund the police but look where they are standing look where they are standing you want to defund these people but you're looking to them to protect you how does that make any type of sense you want these folks to lose their funding 
You want them to leave your neighborhoods and leave your people alone, yada, 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 all this stuff. You want to tell them they're no good, terrible, very bad people, but yet you stand by them for protection. I, I'm, I'm sorry, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I'm some type of idiot, you know, maybe some screws are loose upstairs, you know, maybe the, the lights on, nobody's home, I don't know, but, you know, I, that, that's just my conclusion of the situ to, you know, of the situation is they don't even know what they're fighting for, have no clue. They were told that these signs, these types of signs are a good thing to hold up, they bought it, and now they're standing out there, and when they get pressured, everything crumbles. What happens when they start to say no? What, what are those folks going to do? You already told them that they're no good, very bad people. You took their funding away. So now you expect them to protect you? No. Figure it out. What happens then? I'd hate to say it because I don't want to see the loss of life or anything like that. But maybe it's time these police officers who are hated and defunded and demoralized and, you know, in some cases terrorized. Maybe they should leave some of these areas. Let people fend for themselves and see how terrible it really is without officers. What do y'all think? I mean, I, I, I don't think that's the greatest idea. I, I'm, I'm sure there's a better solution somewhere out there. But obviously, I think that would truly wake people up to the fact that, oh, no, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we need these officers. We shouldn't be demoralizing them. We shouldn't be defunding them. You know, we need them. But what do y'all think? Let me know. Can because you tell her to stop harassing us, please? No, 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 no. You say defund the police. Don't you dare ask the police for help. Turn your poster around. Turn your poster around. The other side says defund blue and she's asking the police for help. Then you might want to talk to your politicians. You support fascists. So you support Yeah, you're a fascist. What is fascism? If he's a fascist, why don't you want to talk to me? But you'll yell at him calling him a fascist. What is a fascist? You just called that man a fascist. Please, I'm not talking to you. But you're going to call people fascists and racists. You're going to accuse Trump of killing black people. When has Trump killed a black person? Don't watch the fake news. No answers. You guys are accusing the president of killing people based on their skin color. And you can't back that up or give me any examples. All I want to see, and I hope one day we can get to this. I'm a little more pessimistic on this, but I just hope one day we could just actually tell the truth about the situation. Let's just tell the truth. Let's just be honest. They're lying and have been making up stories. Maybe it's because of the mainstream media, you know, twisting narratives, which I don't think should be allowed. I mean, yes, we have freedom of speech, but that's totally bogus. They're pitting a nation against each other based on a ghost, a bunch of nothing. I mean, you hear some of this stuff and it's like, no, the media twisted that and lied. And now you're angry. Like you don't understand. They lied to you. Like I could understand if it was true. You know, if Trump actually did do some of these things that, you know, a lot of these folks say, if it was 100% a fact and not something the media twisted to try to make sound like a fact, if it was 100% a fact, all right, cool. Yeah, I'll stand side by side with these folks and I'll be against Trump right along with them. But the fact of the matter is, it's a lie. Can we just all tell the truth? Just the truth. That's all, that's all I want. We're fighting over nothing, basically, because it's a lie. I don't know. I mean... It's sad to watch. It, it it really is, you know. I mean, I hope maybe one day, maybe one day. I'm going to assume that they have no proof that Trump has killed a black person or anybody, as a matter of fact. But I do know that the organizations they have on their signs, Black Lives Matter, has killed people. They have definitely killed people because of their skin color, because of their ideology. Where do you have it on here that Black Lives? They are in prison. They are in prison for killing people. No, they're and not. And white cops that have killed black people are not. Because white cops that have killed black people are not in prison. Do you know about our justice system? Do you know that there has to be a trial by our peers to be convicted of these things? Where has someone... That's just murder! That is just murder! Do you know that there has to be a trial by our peers to be convicted of these things? Where has someone... That's just murder! That is just murder! That is just murder! Black on black murder is just murder! Oh my god. What? She said they're ignorant. So does that not matter? So we focus on, I'm just trying to understand, right? Um, and just break this down a bit. So we focus on 
the very minute issue of, you know, one or two rogue cops who do something terrible, right? Because most, I feel like most shootings by officers are justified. So we focus on a very minute issue. And we got the, we, we heard about the statistics on um, officers uh, shooting and killing, you know, a black person. I think that, I want to say it was like 2017, the st statistic was like nine or something. Out of that nine, I would guess maybe one was unjustified. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm, I'm just I'm just saying, if anybody has a st st these statistics, let me know in the comment section. But I'm guessing one was unjustified, right? Where, you know, the officer had no true excuse to, you know, fire around at the guy and, you know, put him in a pine box. So you focus on that. And you don't focus on the black on black crime, which is significantly bigger. Why is that, though? Does a black life only matter when a white person takes it or does it matter anytime it's taken? It's, I, I feel like that is a genuine question because this is this isn't the first time this type of situation has come up. It's come up in other situations as well, where people focus on the small number and just totally ignore this other big number over here and how did how did we get to this point is what i want to know where people when people are given these statistics they just completely ignore them like it, it just means nothing you saw the young lady in the middle there grab the the lady here at the end and call those other folks who were giving her statistics ignorant who's like no don't don't respond to them they're just ignorant they're ignorant because they're telling you, hey, this number over here is much, much bigger than the number you're trying to focus on. So why don't we focus on this number over here before we even think about trying to address this very tiny number o o over there that you're focusing on? Let's let's fix this one. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a little confused and astonished at how this, this all has happened. And it continues to happen. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is crazy. They're ignorant, but you're calling people. How many black unarmed people, black unarmed men, have been shot by the police in 2019? How many? We're not talking to you. How many? I you keep putting your microphone in our face. How many? If you think black people were out here just dying all over the streets by cops, how many unarmed black men were killed by the police? Those how many? Those, how those many? Don't count. I forgot. There were nine unarmed black men killed by the police last year. And we tear our cities down for that too, found unjustified, and they were being held accountable for that. So I was close. Did I say seven or did I say nine? I can't remember. But I said one. So out of the nine, two were found to be unjustified. So the cop, you know, obviously was in the wrong. Two. Two in comparison to thousands. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't... How do you put more weight on two than you do on thousands? I don't know. That just that just doesn't add up to me. I, uh, and I'm astonished that they're they're still standing there. Like I'm the type of person I feel like I'm pretty reasonable. If you even even if I have a stance on something, if you come to me with these statistics to back up your claim that totally contradicts what I think about a situation, I'm gonna change my stance. I feel like that is common sense. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm fine with that. I don't want to be rude, but maybe people are just literally brain dead like their brains just are mush humans have devolved or something i, I don't know because i just feel like any decent human being would hear statistics that like that and like just admit like yo yeah i'm, I'm wrong i don't know but y'all let me know in the comment section please that what more do you guys want besides all of our money besides abortions on demand and you laugh about it because you know it's true. No. It's not true, so you don't you don't support it. That's not what I said. So you said you don't like it. How many unarmed white men were killed in 2019 by the police? It's probably a higher number than black. It's probably higher than nine. Nineteen. That's ten more than black people. Why do you not have white lives matter on your signs? What, have you ever protested for Duncan Limp? Do you even know his name? You shout the names of drug addicts. No, and honestly, I don't either. So, I mean, 
I, I, I can't I can't shame them too, too much because I don't even know the name. But I, I think that I've figured out why we don't know the name. It's because it doesn't fit the narrative that, you know, um, some of these folks try to push out. Um, it go, it totally goes against that. It flies in the face of it. And if they posted that, then a lot of people, I feel like more people would wake up. And that goes back to um, the shamefulness of the mainstream media. Why don't we know about some of these innocent white men who are killed unjustly by officers? Why don't we know? You know, I'm, I'm hesitant because you have freedom of speech, but when you're destroying an entire country, I don't know. You know that I feel like that one's a hard one to solve because I, part of me feels like the mainstream media should be criminally charged for basically lying to us and pushing this narrative that isn't true. But also, I want to uphold freedom of speech. So it's just like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Do, do, do any of you guys have any type of solution to that issue? Let me know. And did you know about the gentleman she mentioned? Be honest. Talk to me. Of criminals, people involved in drug trafficking. People. You support racist. I'm not talking to you. You support a racist. Who? Who do I support that's a racist? Who do I support that's a racist? I'm glad you guys have your mask on. Really, really protecting you guys out here. I do like that you guys ask the police for help and you have defund the police signs on. So I'm going to give you one last chance out here. Are these people Well, we know that they think they are, but they have nothing to back it up. All right, guys, I don't think you guys are I don't think you guys are I would never call you guys. That's amazing. The people. All lives matter. That includes blacks. Yeah, we're the we're the. Yet yeah, they support an organization based solely on someone's race who has been committing hate crimes around the country for more than a hundred days. Yeah, we're the. We're the. That's amazing. Black Lives Matter has said that they want to destroy the nuclear family. That's right. They're anti-Christian. They're pro-abortion. How does that Marxist. help the black community? So, um quite a bit to touch on there um i'll try to make this quick because this video already has gone on for a long time obviously you have the hypocrisy of the police situation they want to defund the police yet they stand by the police and then ask them for help and also i found it pretty interesting that the cop just walked away from him he's like um no you're fine you know what I mean? Um, now, if they were being attacked, I would hope that the cop, you know, step in and, you know, make sure that they're not attacked. I don't I don't believe in that. Um, but the fact that they're just being talked to. I'm happy the cop just walked away. You know, the very people that want to defund them and demoralize them and tell them that they're terrible, no good, very bad people. And they all they want to do is take, you know, put people in pine boxes unjustly, yada, yada, yada. A police officer's job is difficult. It's very difficult. To have to make that split second decision. Is my life in danger? And do I need to put them in a box before they put me in one? That's a difficult decision. And it can often mean the difference between you going home to the home that you purchased or you going to a place where you've put some other folks. So, you know, to have these folks just, just saying stuff like that is, is absolutely crazy. But then also, you know, if you want to touch on the 3,000 versus the two and how they just, eh, that's just, I think, I think the, 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 the one chick said, oh yeah, that's just murder as if it's just nothing. Oh yeah, that's just, oh, that's just murder. Ah, come on. What? So I think you said 3,000, the 3,000 don't matter. They mean absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, that's just murder. It's just like Chicago. Oh, it, it, it happens every day. Ah, forget about it. Just the casualness of that. But lastly, and it's one thing that I, I still haven't wrapped my mind around, is just they were being hit with statistic after statistic after statistic and fact after fact after fact and yet remained the same standing there. They they would not, like, I, I, don't, I don't understand how we've gotten to this point but even more importantly, how do we get out of this point where people are hearing statistics and facts? They just ignore them. 
How do we get out of this? Because as it stands, if that is where we are as America, I think we're in a world of trouble. We're in a huge pile of crap. Listen, I, I don't mean to be all doom and gloom or anything like that, but I think that's a fact. But as always, y'all let me know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. It's totally free. And if you would like to uh, support this channel more than you already have, my PayPal link is in the description box below. Thank you to every single last one of you that have already sent me a care package via PayPal. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much. Peace and love. I'm out.